Tom Gates Biscuit Bands and Very Big Plans by Liz Pigeon. What gen do do this one? Hooray! This is the book I've been waiting for because it's packed full of good biscuits, brilliant, brilliant bands, and very big plants. Lots of them. There are so many doodles. It's going to be tricky to fit them all in. I do my best though. You can use this book to avoid bore. Earning stuff like chores or ch cutting your toenails. Who likes doing that? No one that I know, unless Mercus Melodus. I'll have to ask him. I do. Here are my top tips for you. First, just holding this book can make you look busy. Tom, can you take these towels upstairs? I need to put my book down first. Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Chapter 2. Parents and teachers are less likely to bro bother you if you are reading. Fact. Tom, can you... Sorry, I didn't see you were reading. I'll ask Delia. Result. 3. Try preparing your book is part of your homework, even if it's not. Tom, can you tidy your room, please? Okay, but I'll have to stop doing this very important homework. Oh, well, you better do that first then, if you insist. Open, opens book really fast and begins reading and doodling again. Four, always have your book with you so you can read at any time. Top, do you, do your to to toenails need cutting? Keep reading. Tom, just keep reading. Just keep reading. Sorry, Mom. Did you say something? I was reading this amazing book. It can't w wait if you're reading. I hope these tips will be useful for you. They'll be, they will be. Enjoy reading and doodling just like I do. Derek and Norman are coming over to my house later to write some new songs. It's very important that we don't get distracted by anybody or anything, unless it's a snack break. That's a load. Woohoo! Hurry! Yes! We decided to get together for an emergency dog zombies band practice after what happened in school yesterday. This is what happened. It was a break time, and a group of us were chatting about our favorite bands, as he did. We all agreed that these three were the best band ever, apart from Marcus, who said these three aren't that good. But he was just being awkward, nothing new there. I know he likes them really, because I've seen him at a duo three concert jumping around and cheering so i ignored him and said this guess how about dog zombies we're a, a good band are we i was sort of making a joke but when nobody answered i thought they were they hadn't he heard me so i said it again only much louder this time i mean everyone likes dog zombies right Dirk and norman put of her, their hands. We do. Of course you both like them. Like them. You're in the band, I pointed out. You're okay. Not the best band, though. There are loads of bands better than you. Indra, in, Indrani told us, which was a bit harsh. I can't say you're my favorite band, as I haven't heard you play for ages, Amy said, which was true, I suppose. I've heard you play and you're definitely not my favorite band, Marcus added. It just would have been nice if someone could have said we were a good band. Then Norman jumped up and started shouting, You lot have the, haven't heard all of new songs we're writing. Dog Zombies are going to be even better than Dude Street. It's true, Dark agreed. We so are, I added, doing air punches. We are all the time thinking. What new songs? 
Don't tell me your new songs are all about caramel waffles. Waffles. Marco said, like that was a bad idea. It was actually a very good idea. Maybe, maybe not. I told him, being mysterious. Then Dirk kept it all going by saying, "We've been very busy, and our songs are top secret, so you have to wait to hear them." But there is one thing I can say. What? What's that? Marcus wanted to know. They are awesome songs. Derek was managing to take the whole new song, saying a sound very exciting. Even I was impressed. It made me really want to get writing. That's for sure. Then Marcus told me, if you do write about caramel waffles, remember it was my idea. Okay. I said as Florence began waving her hands in the air to get our attention. Oh, oh! I forgot. My favorite band is One Dim Dimension. They're amazing. Yeah, I really like them too. Sully told us, which was a surprise. Their new song is so good, isn't it? Andre Indrani added. Then everyone started to talk about One Dimension. And they all agreed with Florence about what a great band they are. I know all the words to their songs. Amy said, "Me too." Indrani smiled and started to sing. It wasn't long before a whole group of kids had gathered round to join in as well. Let's all sing together. Even Brad Galloway stopped for the sing along like he couldn't help himself. I didn't want to be left out, but not knowing the words made it harder to sing along. Franz kept glaring at me in, um, "You're spoiling the moment. Please stop." Kind of way. We'll have to write new songs now. Now, one way, I whispered to Derek, and he agreed. Let's meet out at the weekend. I've got some. I Ideas. He does a good plan. And once Norman stops singing, I tell him about. Let's all sing together. Let's all sing. Who knew Norman was such a big fan of One Dimension? He kept it quiet. For the rest of the day, I couldn't get the tune of Let's All Sing out of my head. That even when I was trying to do work, that. Charles kept popping up at all the wrong times. Let's all sing! Let's all sing! Tom, look out! Let's all sing! When Mr. Fullerman said, "Tom, what's the answer to the question?" I blurted out, "Let's all sing!" No, let's not. Sorry, <laughs> let's not. Sorry, sir. I don't know. It was embarrassing. Dog zombies really need some new catchy songs that stick in your head like that one. Let's all sing. Let's all sing. I was up super early, although I can't actually open my eyes. I try my best, but it's not happening. It's a huge struggle, so I don't bother for a while. I can't stay in bed too long because the rest of the band are coming over to my house later, and we have a lot of things to do. Okay, I'm getting up. Here I go. In a minute, I am really going to get up soon. I'm surprisingly tired this morning, and I think it was something to deal with all the remembering I did yesterday, and it wasn't even for homework. When I came back from school, I decided to copy out all the words for One Dimension's "Let's All Sing" so I could learn them off by heart. Writing them in my homework seemed like a good idea until I realized where my notebook was. I only gone and left in, left it in Delia's room. I was looking at some Rocky Week. Walkie weeklies when she came back and nearly coming, I had to make a run for it. Some, some, some. Uh oh, fast. Sneaking back in to find, sneaking back in to find my notebook was tricky, but I managed to get it and a few more copies of Rock Weekly as well. 
Once I had it, I started to write out the letters and, and my own doodles, which made them look way more interesting, I think. And it helped to help me to remember the words of my heart. So now, if anyone breaks into song, I'll be able to join in, and Florence can give her bad stares to someone else. My notebook. Let's all sing together for now by one dimension. Picture by me, Tom Gates. Open your eyes. It's a shiny day. The sky is blue. We'll be there for you for now. Our hair is our own. Our teeth so white for now. We are best of friends. We never fight for now. We are so happy. Let's sing this song for now. Nothing will go wrong. We'll be strong for now. Come on, let's sing together. Well, we have a voice. We can sing forever. Oh, oh, oh. We all sing together. Wow, wow, wow. Try and make things better. Oh, oh, oh. Open your eyes. It's a shiny day. The sky is blue. We'll be there for you for now. We are so happy. Let's sing this song for now. Nothing will be, nothing will go wrong. We'll be strong for now. No wonder I'll, I'm still tired. I did a lot of drawings. When Marcus said he should write a song about caramel waffles, I thought it was a pretty good idea. The trouble is, if we actually write one, he'll go on and on about how it was all his idea forever. I can see now. That song was all my idea, old Marcus. But since I spent so long in bed, I used the time well and thought of something else we could write about instead. I don't know why we haven't done this before. We need to write a song about biscuits. We can sing about lots of different types of biscuits, not just waffles for those people who didn't like waffles, if those people really actually exist. Dog zombies and biscuits. What's not to like? We'll call it the biscuit song, Biscuit Tin, which already sounds like a hit to me, and we haven't even started writing it yet. The thought of biscuits has encouraged me to leave out of bed, get dressed, and take the take and make and then make a biscuit list. So in no particular order, biscuit splits, waffle, all kinds but caramel are the best. Chocolate chip, chocolate digestives, side few custard creams, ice biscuits with sprinkles. Old biscuits, lack of chocolate, pref preferably with with chocolate, shortbread in any type, any shape. This is a good way to start my day. I carry on with a doodle. I stopped drawing because I'm getting hungry. Before I head downstairs, I check under my bed to make sure the rocky wickles I borrowed from the Alia room are still there. They are. I pick um, one and start flicking through it when I spot whole sections of old beds. I recognize some of them from Dirk's dad's re record collection. They were very big, flared trousers and huge platform shoes in those days. How did they get on stage? Dad had a pair like that once, but I don't think he was ever in the band. Or was he? I might have to ask him again. Looking at the photographs of the old bands, I think they used to dress out a lot more in the past. This rock weekly have lots of interesting things in them. Mm, funny, look at that nice guitar. I've been thinking that dog zombies could try out a new look to go with the songs that we haven't written yet. Maybe not as wild as the bands in Rocky Weekly.
but a new T-shirt design might work. Work. I'll show these pictures to Dirk and Norman when they get there, get here. So to make sure I don't forget which magazines the pictures are in, I mark each page with a sock. Obviously, I know they'll find the photos funny. There's a whole section on dude three that I haven't seen before, which takes up three almost clean socks. I've noticed lots of bands wearing sunglasses all the time, like Delia does. Only the bands, the bands look cool. Delia just looks fed up, or slightly furious, or both. Not all bands look cool though. It's the hair. Seventies, for eighties, nineties, rock bands, old bands with style. Hair. His hair looked like rooster. Haha, <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what dog zombies would look like with that band style. Probably something like this: dark with poodle hair, normal, or this. Nice drawing. I'll show it to Derek. I draw rooster with some old band style, like Granda's wig. Dog shoot. I can't stop laughing at my drawings of rooster. Ha 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 I'm still laughing when Delia interrupts me by banging on the door. Bash, bash, bash. Tom, have you been in my room again? What? No, don't come in. I shout, jumping up and trying to hide all the rock weeklies at. The same time as holding the door shut, I accidentally knocked over some water with green paint in it that spills over the magazines and drip onto the floor. Don't go in my room, Delia shouts. Don't you come in my room ever? I say back to her. You'll have to come out here some time, Delia says. I'll be staying here. I tell her. That's making pancakes, so you better hurry up if you want some. This could be a trick to make me leave my room so she can snoop and see if I've taken her magazine. Magazines. I'm wise of this, but I also don't want to risk missing out on pancakes. You can go away now. I tell her. Then I listen to make sure she's gone downstairs. Once it's safe to move away from the door, I grab the nearest. Thing to try and wipe up the green water before everything gets too soggy. That's better, I say to myself before I realize I've just used a pair of my pants to mop up with. They're a bit green now, so I stuff them into a plastic cup, which gets them out of the way. Mom gave me a whole stack of plastic cups after I ruined some fancy teacups with my pants. Paints. I could tell I was in trouble then when she said, "Tom, what have you done to my cups?" Uh oh! How was I supposed to know my paints wouldn't come off? I thought the cups looked much nicer with all the extra colors on them, but Mom didn't agree. If I ever get famous, these cups will be way more valuable with my paint decoration. I suggested. Nice trick, Tom. But for now, on its jam jars or plastic cups only. Mom told me I've discovered lots of other things you can do with the plastic cups, and that are surprisingly useful. Things you can make from plastic cups or paper ones: telephone, skittles, smart, small hat. My favorite thing to make with the clear cup is a face change. This is how you make one: use a part of black marker to draw a face on the cup. Two, drop the cup into a second cup. Draw a second cup on the second cup over Delia's face. 
twist the cups around for twist the cups around to show the drawings. I do a drawing of Delia on a new cup and add more extra silly things on another cup. I've already done a face change for Mr. Fillerman using the special pen Mr. Jones gave me what draws on plastic and other things Buster isn't supposed to draw on. Buster was here. Then I take them down to breakfast to, so Delia can see my work. She's going to be very impressed. No. When I get to the kitchen, there are no pancakes anyway because Delia was being snacky and made all it up. Like I suspected, I'm glad I didn't rush downstairs and even more pleased that I made this new face changer. Have you been in my room again? Delia asked Miss. No, I say quickly. Well, you took your time coming down, she asked. I guess there's no pancakes, so why hurry? Actually, we did have pancakes and they're gone. They were delicious too. You missed out, Tom. For a split second, I believe her. No, I'm not very good at hiding my feelings about food. Then that says, don't worry, she's kidding. I didn't make pancakes, which is a relief. Although, I would actually like some pancakes. I show Delia what I've been making to see her reaction. I made this face change. Recognize anyone? Don't you have anything better to do? Not really. Come on, you two. Enough winning each other up. I wonder if it's going to rain today. Do either of you know? That is peering up the sky, which does look a bit dark. It always rains, Delia said gloomily. I might need some more bean liners. Then they seem to be doing the trick on my leaky shed roof. Why do bean liners get used for everything in this family? For once, I find myself agreeing with Delia and thinking of the time mom made me wear a bean liner as coat. Why don't you just get it fixed by someone who knows what they're doing? She asked that. It'll be using your in- initiative, he says, well, tap. Pegging his head with his finger. Mom hears the end of the uh end of their conversation and looks worried. Please don't go climbing up on the shed roof if it's dodgy dark, Frank. I'm not going to do anything silly. The bean leaders have worked perfectly well. I just need to add a few more to really fix it. Dad assures her then he spots one of my face, changes and picks it up. Did you make this? Ha! Look at there, Mr. Fleurman, with lots of hair. I, well, I wouldn't take this to school, Tom. You don't want to get into trouble. Dad loves that he picks up Delia's face changer. Look at you, Delia. That's funny. So, does Tom get into trouble for drawing picture of me then? She wants to know. The difference is, you do actually look like that. I tell her while holding my cup, drawing next to her face. See? Dylan tries to grab it from me, but I am way too fast. If you two both stop annoying each other, I will take pancakes. Anything for a peaceful morning, that tells us. Delia's the annoying, annoying one. Annoying is your middle name. I don't have a middle name. Do you two want pancakes or not? That asks again. Pancakes, I shouted. Delia mumbles, thinks that. Crack. Lovely family breakfast, so restful, mom sighs. While that's making pancakes, I add a few more things to my face changer. Do you should make one of those with Uncle Kevin. Actually, El- oh, sorry, Auntie Alice and the cousins. That would be funny. Delia says as she watches me throw. Huh. Okay, I will. Then I twist the cups round and down, show Delia the extra work I've been doing. 
Hey, look! You've got a beer now. Don't make me squash your plastic cup. She says, an improvement, I think. When Dad serves the pancakes, they're all in slightly weird shapes. I'm feeling creative, he says. It's a cat. Really, it doesn't look like a cat. And Delia's one doesn't look like a cat either. I pointed out. That's because it's a bird. Dad tells me. I'm not a little kid, Delia says. If you, I'll have yours if you don't want him. I said, I say halfway with my fork po poised. No chance, Delia says, and eats her bad weird pancake. They actually taste very nice. And while I'm scrapping my plate, I remember I've run about my band practice later to get today. Just so you know, me, Derek, and Norman will be writing a lot of great songs, and we don't want to be distracted. I glare at Delia so she knows I'm in her. Unless it's for snacks, I add quickly. Don't tell me I have to listen to you love playing the same thing over and over again really badly, she grumbles. You can you could away always go out, I suggested. Mom steps in and says yes. That's fine, Tom, but don't play too loudly and no fool on drums. We're done for practicing, though. Mom is more positive than Delia. Then she asked Dad a question. If you're afraid this morning, Frank, would you like to come with me to Ica? Before Mom can finish her sentence, Dad interrupts her. Oh, what a shame. I'm so behind with my work, I can't go, and I need to fix the shed roof too. If you're sure, I'll take Mavis instead as she wanted to come. I'm so sure. Bring back some tea lights, which means now I'll be relying on that for any events next day. I need to ask him a very important question. That actually, how full is the biscuit tin in your shed? What biscuit tin? He said. Your secret biscuit tin, I reminded her. Even I know about it. We all do. Della joins in the conversation. We are writing a song about biscuits, so it's research. We'll be needing quite a few to keep us going, I think. I'll see what I can do. Not that there's anything resembling a biscuit in my shed, he adds. Nice try, Dad. That's not so secret, biscuit tin. Mom pops her head back around the door to say, Don't do anything daft, will you? Listen to your mother that tells us. I was talking to you, Frank. Be careful fixing the shed roof, okay? I'll be fine, Dad says confidently. By the time you come back, we all have written loads of good things, I tell mom. I can't wait to hear them. She says, I can't. Tell you as which is typical of her. I go upstairs to make a very important sign. I don't want Delia to barrage into my room and see any of the rock wiggles. Because then she'll know what I've been in her room. I wasn't snooping deliberating. I was only looking for a magazine when I just happened to spot something ver else that was very interesting. Delia's diary. There was a big lock on the side which made me want to read it even more. But I was very good and didn't because I know it's private and I couldn't get it open. I'm happy Delia won't notice it's been moved because she would go crazy if she knew I'd seen her diary. Then mom and dad would probably tell me off for going in her room as well. I could be in a lot of trouble. So that's another good reason to make a sign. Keep up. Band practicing. There are lots of signs I can make, but this one's, this one's good for now. Here are some other sign ideas. Genius at work. True. Only enter if you have snacks. If you call Delia, back away now. 
when Derek arrives, he likes my son. But won't your sister get just ignore it? I will make a barbier with pillows as well. That's slow her down. It's a good plan. Derek checks checks out the other drawings I've done. Wow, you've been busy. Nice use of socks tip. He found the rocky weakness. So I pointed out the old band photos. Check out the band's clothes. What do you think of them? Derek starts turning the pages really so slowly like he's studying them. Then he looks at one for a long time. Now, this could be a great new work for dog zombies. Ha 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 ha. He's joking, so I have a good laugh. This would be hilarious. I see laughing some more. No, seriously, I like this look. I think it could just, it could work for us. Huh? Derek doesn't sound like he's joking. We could start all over again. Re- re- reinvent ourselves. New songs and a completely new look. Good idea, don't you think? Hmm, I'm not so sure. Couldn't we just get new t-shirts, I say, trying to put Derek off the whole new style thing. I don't think it's a good idea at all. But we look amazing. The big hair is the best part. Now, I'm speechless and don't know what to say. Derek is looking and waiting for me to say something. Normally, we are agree most of things. I'm struggling to give him an answer. I only showed him the pictures because I thought they were funny. Eventually, I say, I'm not, I'm still not sure. Shall we ask Norman what he thinks? Okay, but I bet he loves the idea. Derek says confidently, I hope not. I try and put it out on my mind while we are waiting for Norman to turn up. I share Derek my face changer and we do some more drawings, that's all. How do you draw a dog zombie? Derek wants to know. That's easy. You can make anything into a zombie if you want. Just add scares, big starry eyes, dribble, and sharp teeth. Good tip! Here's how to show dog zombies and other zombie creatures. We've been drawing for a while when Derek says, Now, this would make an amazing bad logo. Then shows me something that looks like a squiggle. Isn't that just a weekly line? I pointed out. Yes, imagine that on a poster as our band logo. How brilliant that would be. Derek is a big tune in of this idea, which is a worry. I kind of like our old dog logo better. I decided to speak up this time. Come on, Tom. We need to be different. And this logo is different. Don't be stuck in the past. Derek holds up the squiggle uh, again very slowly. He can't see I don't like it. Let's ask Norman when we when he gets there. We can take a vote then, Derek tells me. Yes, let's, I say, because I'm sure Norman will agree with me. This is not like Derek at all, but I'm going along with him because once Norman arrives, he'll help sort things out and then we can put, we can get on with writing our songs. But just in case, I draw a few more band logos myself. They still fit, they still feed your dogs, of course, and zombies, which makes sense. Derek decided to make his own face changer. I like it a lot when that is squiggle. Guess who? Here are my band logos. Dogs o zombies. Oh, sorry. Dog zombies. Dog drill logo. Me as a zombie. As der- Derek and I... I don't seem to be agreeing on very much right now. I show him my biscuit list and tell him it's for a new song. He likes the same biscuits, so this should be easier for sure. That's genius. Why haven't we done that before? I know. Which reminds me that that's supposed to be bringing up his biggest tip.
I make another quick sign so he doesn't forget. All big scares will come, even plain ones. Dad, don't forget. When the bell goes, we both rush downstairs to answer the door as we have a lot of important decisions to make now. Ding, ding, ding. We open the door and Norman is here. Hi. But he's not his on his own. Elfie, his little brother, is with him. He's like a mini version of Norman, only a lot of life earlier. If that's even possible. Bob said I had to bring El- Alfie with me or I wouldn't be able to come over. Hello, I'm Alfie. I'm glad you're here. As we need to talk about some stuff, I say to Norman as Avil slips past and runs upstairs. Af- Alfie, where are you going? Norman looks a bit flustered, which is u- unusual for him. Then Alfie slides down and ba- the ban- the banister. We will be good later, I promise. I've brought things to keep him busy while we write songs. Then Elfie runs upstairs again, but this time he doesn't come back down. Uh-oh, where's he gone? Norman runs after him. This is going to be fun. Did there were whispers to me? Elfie is reading in my, already in my room and holding up our biscuit list. He's weaving it around like a flute. Elfie, please give that to me. It's important. I tell him which makes him want to keep it even more. It's for our song. We'll make a list of biscuits. Biscuits! I want biscuits! Elfie repeats, then drops the list so he can't have a look for biscuits. He starts by crawling under my bed. What's this? He sees pulling out the plastic cup with my green pants inside. I can't explain, I see, but Elfie, Elfie has already taken them out. No, I say as Elfie only goes and puts my pants on his head. Eiffel, there's Tom pants. Take them off your head. Norman tells him in a study disgust kind of way. Ew, they're green. Elfie says, there's a good reason for that. I try ex- I'm try. i trying to explain, but Elfie drops them over. It's paint water. I shall, but Eiffel's asking about biscuit again. Can I have a biscuit? Come on, Elfie. There's no biscuits here. Why don't you do some drawing instead? Norman suggested. It's so funny listening to him being all sensible for a change. It seems a f- to work as Elfie sits down at my desk. Okay. I give him some paper and pencils, and I'm about to move the plastic cup of leftover paint water out of his way when he gets distracted by the drag who's kicking, kicking my pants up in the air with a foot. Look out! The Nora flicks them back at him and they fly over Ellie's head who ducks down and knocks over the last bit of pen paint water. I manage to grab my pants in mid-air skills. Then I use them to wipe in up the splodges all over Delia's rock weekly again. At least everyone can see now my, why my pants are green. Then I stuff them in another plastic cup. There, all done. Nobody needs to worry about my pants anymore, okay? I say, they're normal and Elfie all not. Right, where were we? Derek picks up the Rocky Weekly with the old bands in it. That reminds me, Tom and I have been finding new cells for dog zombies. I think this look would be great for us. What do you think, Normal? Derek asks in so enthusiastically. Here's my idea for a new band logo too. He asks and holds up a squiggle. I'm hoping Norman will agree with me, so I pull a few faces again. We look so silly like it, right? I'd rather have a new t-shirt instead. Come on, Top. We need a change. Derek passes the magazine over to Meryl. 
who studies the pictures really carefully. What is it, Norma? I asked him. Hmm, he says. I'm pretty sure he's going to agree with me. Eventually, Norma says, I think it's a great idea. What? Yes, Derek is happy. You're kidding. I can't believe you're both saying that. This could be our first real band fallout. Derek and Norman carry on talking about the brilliant it's going to be wearing new clothes and having such a magazine look amazing logo. I love it, don't you, Derek? Yes, Norman. It's going to be amazing. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Even Avril joins in. I like Squiggle. What's wrong with our old band logo? These three wouldn't have a Squiggle or wear those clothes. I'm packing around my bedroom, so at first I don't notice what's going on. Your face, Tom. When I showed you the Squiggle, Derek and Roman are laughing a lot. They were just pretending to like the new look. Now I get it. I really believe you. I can't laugh now because I'm so relieved. Alfie is laughing too, but he doesn't know why. What's so funny? He asks us. This logo there exists, which sets us of us all off again, and we don't hear and knock on the door before he comes in. You lot seem to be enjoying yourselves. How's the snow- songwriting going? He asks us. Better you now you've got the biscuits thing. I tell him biscuits. Elphil is more excited than us. I sh- I saw your side. Tom, you can have one biscuit each from the top layer only, okay? It's better than nothing. Then that phone goes off downstairs. Ring, 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 ring. I'll back in a minute. I just need to get that. Help yourself to one biscuit for from the top layer only, that says, and rush, then rushes off. We all study the biscuits and discover very quickly that there's a big problem. There are only two full covered biscuits on the top and we all want one of those. Plain biscuits, plain biscuits, full foil. Don't panic, I have a plan, I tell everyone. To make it fair, I take two full biscuits from the bottom layer and sweep them for two plain biscuits from the top. That way, we all get a full cover biscuits. Every, everybody is happy, especially Elfie, and that won't see any empty spaces on the bottom layer. Result, when Dad come back, he's impressed with not taking loads of biscuits. Well done for only taking one each, guys. I'll leave you to get on your on with your practice. How's the biscuit song coming along? Marshmallows, Elfie shouts. We're writing about biscuits, not marshmallows. I tell you, I look forward to hearing that. That smells then let us get on. We have a look at our list as I pick up my guitar. Derek sets up his keyboard and Norman has his small drum. We are ready to start when Elvis says loudly, Can I play too? And starts hitting Norman's drum a lot. You're not in the band, Elfie. Can you do something drawing some drawing instead? No, I don't want to. Elfie says and keeps drumming. I want to be in your band. Uh oh, this isn't going well. A Elfie is not going to let us practice. I can't tell. We're going to need another plan. Then I remember an old shaker I made in school. It's filled with rice and makes a nice noise. Elfie I can use that. It's not as annoying as the rum. I go and get it for him. Hey, Elfie, look at this. He seems to like the shaker, and for a while, it keeps him happy. We get to carry on writing our biscuit song and let Elfie to do shaking. Everything is going until, well until Elfie ups his shaking. Slow down, Elfie, less shaking. Norman tries to tell him, but he won't shut. He's shaking so much 
it breaks and rice rolls everywhere. Uh oh, it broke. I would say like it wasn't obvious. Sorry, Tom. Norma approaches for Elfie. Don't worry, it was an accident. I tell him. Just as Elfie decides to lie on the floor and shout, "Look, I'm a rice angel." Yes, you're Elfie. I say. I say that I go and get that. What's happened here then? That is surprised to see all the rice. I'm in the band. Elfie shouts like that explains everything. He's not. He just broke Tom's shaker. Sorry, Newman says. Then Dad asks me if we can, all, we can all go downstairs while he tries to clean up. Maybe find something less messy to do. He asks, which basically means we can watch TV. Result. Everyone is happy until Elfie gets up on to find his bed, and he stands right in front of the TV screen. Watch this! Elfie says and throws something up in the air and catches it in his mouth. What are you eating, Elfie? Normal wants to know. Marshmallows. Many ones. Do you want some? Yes. We do. Why didn't you tell us you had marshmallows earlier? Norma wonders. He kind of did. I point out as if Elfie starts sharing them out. Catching marshmallows in your mouth isn't as easy as it looks. We agreed to add mini marshmallows to our list of potential band snacks for the future. It's only after everyone's gone home that I go upstairs and notice someone has changed my sign. Hmm. Delia has been busy. Keep shouting because I can't sing, and practicing won't help much. Ha <laughs> ha. My sister is hilarious. Not. Her bedroom door might be closed, but I know. Delia is there, probably writing a diary. I wonder what she's writing about. Maybe she's writing about me. I bet she is. If Delia is writing about me, she'll probably be saying something like this. Dear diary, got up and put my own, uh, my usual sunglasses and black clothes. Told a whopping big. Flip to Tom about that making pancakes. He didn't seem to care, which was annoying. Tom's band are going over to practice today, and that's the last thing I need. If they get successful, I will be hotly jealous, because I am not musical or talented in any way like Thomas. So my plan is to stop them having any fun at all. I'm good at that. Tom's written a stupid sign outside his room. I'm going to change it because I'm hilarious. It will be really funny. Tom is not funny at all. That's for that's all for now, Delia. Next time I go to Delia's room, I might have to take a peek to see if she really knows right stuff about me. In the meantime, here's a zombie diary. What zombie diary? I can't see eyes. Oh, sorry, sorry. I can't see that Dad's managed to clean up most of the rice. From while, from from when Elvin broke my shaker, I'd really like to make another one to replace it. But I'll need more rice and something to put in. Looking around my room, the only thing I can see and might work is maybe a sock. I could try feeling. It up、uh, with some rice, but I'm not sure it would swish around inside all enough. Although shaking two socks around might look a bit fun in a band, to abandon the sock idea, sock idea, and go into the kitchen to find something else instead. I'm in luck. There's a half-eaten tube of crisp and some more right at the back of the kitchen cupboard. I emptied the. Crips into a bowl, then it's some now, and save the rest for later. Although there's not many left, the really hard part is trying to pour the rice into the tube. Some of the 
some of it spills onto the floor. So I stand on a chair, which helps a little, and I don't fill it up too much. Then I take the tube and go back to my room, where I doodle on a piece of paper and stick it to the outside of the tube. I use loads of sticky tape to seal up the lid so it's super tight and hopefully healthy el proof. Mom told me she wanted to hear our new song when she comes back, so I try out my shaker and sing a bit of the biscuit song, which sounds pretty good if you ask me. I think Mom and Dad will be super impressed with all the creative things I've been doing today. I can't wait to show them. It will be nice big surprise. Shake, 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 shake for both of them. No more rice. It's everywhere. More rice, not cooked. Look what I made. Look what I made. I tell Mom and Dad while showing them my new shaker. You made a bit of mess too, Tom, Mom says and points to the kitchen worktop, which I admit those that have some rice around it. I try to distract them by demoing the different sounds my shaker makes. If you do it this slowly, it sounds like it's raining. Listen, swish, 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 swish. That does sound like rain. That agrees. My distraction plane seems to be working, so I did it some more. Do you want to hear a bit of the song dog zombies have been working on, I ask? Why not? They say, that says we love to uh, ask mom. Now I have to try and remember it. It's about biscuits, I remember, and goes something like this. This biscuit song. The biscuit song by dog zombies. Biscuits here, biscuits there, eat a biscuit everywhere. Crunchy biscuits, custard creams, biscuits in your biscuit dreams. Shortbread biscuits, ginger nuts, jam jammy biscuits to pick you up. Chocolate cookie, chocolate chips, melted chocolate on your lips. Udi crumbles, Florentine, those biscuits on the plate are mine. Charles, say yay yay. Move your biscuit feet. Say yay yay to the biscuit bit. Say yay yay is a biscuit treat. Biscuits plain and biscuit sweet. Caramel is soft and yummy. Love a waffle in the in my tummy. Chocolate biscuits are the best. Chocolate biscuits on my vest. Eat a biscuit up a tree. See a biscuit factory. Homemade biscuits very nice. Biscuits hot and biscuits I. I repeat chores. Mom and Dad give me a round of applause when I'm finished. Well done, Tom. Your shaker really does sound like a ring, doesn't it? That says again. Kind of I agree. When I spot is it is raining now. I'm about to tell Dad when Mom says, "Do you want to see what I bought, Dad?" Which is far more interesting than weather. I had a great time with Memphis, and I've got everyone a treat. Tea lights, the dogs. Why do you keep asking about tea lights? Mom wants to know. She's got a point. I went to a great cafe. Cafe. They don't sell a tea lights there, but they do sell these cakes. Mom puts four cakes shaped like small houses on to the plate. Aren't they lovely? They reminded me for of your shot friend. Mom says. They're nicer than that shirt. He's got a hole in the roof for a start. If I pointed out, I'm going to get it fixed probably, but the bean liners are working for now. As long as it doesn't rain too hard, it should be okay. This seems like a good time to tell that. It's, it is raining a lot. Dad runs off in a panic. I, I turn my attention back to the threats. As that's gone, can I have his biscuit as well? I asked mom. Because I can't decide which one is the nicest or biggest. Nice right, Tom. You can ha have one. Didn't that didn't that bring you some biscuits for your band practice? I would answer, but my mouth is too full of cake. It's delicious. If a bit small. 
Well, I'm enjoying it, the icing. I take the fork and poke a hole into the roof of another cake. It looks more like that shed now. I tell mom who loves. And then she asks about Delia. Is she in? I want to save her stump cake. We saw the hole in the roof. She is up in her room, probably writing things in her diary. I say, still, I think Delia has a diary. How do you know? Have you been snooping in her room? I accidentally saw her writing in it from a big distance. I quickly explain. Maybe I'll take her cake after that, just to make sure she's right. Mom wants to see Delia's diary. I can tell. While she's gone, I pick a bit more icing of Dad's cake and eat it. He wouldn't notice. I'll just say the roof hole got bigger, that's all. I'm enjoying the extra icing when I think I can hear Dad calling my name. Tom! I go to the kitchen door and look out to his shed. It's raining quite hard now, and I can see Dad's climb up the ladder, and it leaning over the shed roof. He's waving at me, so I wave back. Tom! Hi, Dad, I say, and wave some more. Tom, can you please come here? Dad shouts. It's raining a lot now, and I don't want to get wet. So I shout, do I have to? Dad wants me to come out. Yes! And bring some bean linters. He adds, that's too far away to f- hear, me gro- hear me groan. But I manage to find a roll and put them on my head to keep me dry. I pass them up to Dred, who says, thanks, Tom. It's was an emergency. I take shelter in the shed and I can hear that hammering and trying to fix the leak. I'm coming down now, he shouts and joins me in the shed. I think I stop the leak just in time. That says just then the water starts dripping again, right onto his head. Hand me that empty biscuit tin, quick, that says, and puts it under the desk. 